Hello everyone, Sheila here and welcome back to my channel and I hope everyone had a nice Easter. So um, today I want to um, do a tutorial to a project that I did with this particular stamp. But before that, I just want to share with you um, the new stamps that Pink Ink Designs released um, this month. They were four of them. I got three of them. Um, <clears throat> two of them are from the nautical series and I guess two of them are from the wing series. I'm, I'm not very sure but I guess I'm um, 99% I'm sure it's a two from the wing series because there was another um, <clears throat> it's like a little sparrow or something or <clears throat> something like that. So it must be from the wing series. But um but this one um is a must have for me the nautical series because i just love them i collected <laughs> almost all of them from the nautical series at the moment um i guess they're going to to release more of the nautical series i'm not sure but you know i just love them and they are just my favorite um yeah so um so the first one here I want to show you is this nautical series, the um, Shell Nymph, and this is the product code if you're looking for it. And this is the project that I'll be doing today. It's so pretty. I just love this one. Um, and this is the stamp. And uh, as you can see, it's already colored there. Because I used it already and the second one here is this one and this one is perfect for mail card um, and then um, Father's Day will be in June so perfect for Father's Day or any birthdays for mail so or or you can do this one into kind of an art and frame it yeah and um, this is from the wing series I just love this one too isn't that gorgeous so I can't wait to play with this um, two um, two stamps I haven't done this one yet so this is the project that I'll be showing to you today. So I'll just put this one aside. So this is the project we're making today. I just love this one. And um, yeah, um, this one will be perfect for a gift for someone or their birthdays or whatsoever. Um, yeah, you can just frame your artwork and or make it into a card for happy birthday but as you can see it's it's just so pretty when you color them um i color this one with um pixie dust for the background there that's the main background and then there's um this there's oxide on the um the edges and this is embossing powder here so yeah and then just some other colors but you can use all the, um, the pixie dust too <clears throat> yeah and then alcohol markers or what a color you you have so you can always um, you know you can always do this one like this but the main um, background is pixie dust so that's where I based all my colors when I color the um, the sea nymph here so yeah so I will do the tutorial for that and yeah so I hope you will like the video today so I'll just remove this an 8 by 8 cardstock so you can always always resize your um, cardstock whatever size you want um, I just like to work on an 8 by 8 and um, yeah so um, so this is an 8x8 eight eight. and um, yeah so start 
with I'm going to um, use um, I have here my uh, pixie powder by cosmic shimmer and I'm using um, the golden mint um, the other one I, and the aqua lagoon and um, I was using the oops, the candy pink I love that one and I guess that's the one that I used and I guess there was um gold bronze yeah I guess that's the one and I will just add the sun yellow yeah so um so to begin with I'm going to spray this one with boulder just and um, using this novo light mist and so just spray that one normal water just wet it there and then I will um, add the candy pink so just tap that stop it on the center nearly in the center and then um, going to drop the yellow the sun yellow like that and um, then I'll spray again just to activate it more as you can see I'm just going to um, zoom that Like that and then um, I have here a fan brush and I just want to wet that one with water and I just want to kind of move those um, I don't want that as you can see here if you can see there's those powder that is not melted so I just want to melt that so so I'm just moving it with my brush And if you touch that one with, um, you know, uh, this is yellow. So when you touch with, mix it with the um, the pink here, it will create another kind of orangey kind of color. So yeah, so I like that. And then um, I'm going to add the blues onto the top here. I just need some more water there. Like that. So just sprinkle a little bit. Then um, spray on it. And just dab this. Just to help um, to dissolve all the powder. Uh, there and then um, with that um, I want to soften this so I have another card stuck here and you can use this one later on to get the thing 
So then, you will have a softer um, background. I'll just spread that there. Like so. Like that. And maybe I'll just add more um, yellow, the sun yellow. Somewhere here. Oops. And spray it again. And then just kind of move that one with your brush. That. I'm not bothered on the um, on the side because I'm going to add um, distress ink later. So yeah, so we will dry that. So there it is. As, as you can see here, the other one just um, um, dried out now. So you can add more colors into this one. This is the one I I, um, I put on the top of this one. So there it is. Lovely um, soft color. And you can always add some more of that one for later on. And yeah, I guess I need more... Um, I want to add more on that, so I just spray that one there, kind of um, yellow and um, golden mint. So I'm using um, Memento here, Tuxedo Black, where you can uh, use, um, but since I'm going to use my alcohol markers, um, I'm going to use the Tuxedo Black. But if um, you're just going to color it with watercolors, so you're okay with Versafine um, Onyx Black. on the um, pixie dust so pretty so you nearly like you have your colors and um, yeah that is what I love about um, doing the um, the background first and then you add your stamp and the next thing is I'm going to stamp um, and the other thing is that um you need to stamp an extra one yeah you 
you need to stamp an extra one here for um, to cover that So there it is. Yeah, I will use this one for masking the thing for later. Okay. Now, um, so the color is one. So to color this one, I'm using um, my Pro marker here. Okay, and I will just fast forward it. I'm going to show you the number. Okay.
So there she is. She's so sparkly now. So the next thing is to emboss this one. So I'm going to a kind of a make a sign here. So I'm just going to make a mask and I'm just going to make a kind of a wavy one like that. I'm using this emboss embossing stamp pad. Okay. And you can use any um, ink pad you have, but um, this one is clear, so this one is Versa Mark. You can use that one too, but then I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to position that. So to emboss this one, I'm using this embossing powder. Um, this one is the Tencel Snowflakes. And this is by Paper Mania. And um, it has this white, um, white embossing powder with um, silver glitter. So I use this one a lot on my sand. And I'm just going to... Um, So there it is. So pretty. I'll just need that one there. I'll just cover that one later. Now um so the next one is I'm going to stamp um the um thing that I cut earlier. I'm going to mask this because I'm going to stamp
stamp by Pink Ink Design the turtle, the sea turtle. Um, yeah, I use a lot of the seaweeds in there, and um, I also stamp from the sea turtle um, stamp the small sea turtles, and I have another one here. So yeah, and be but before that, I just want to um, to make to stamp this one again. A darker um, this is the vintage photo um, mistress ink just want to darken this here big difference when you frame it that's your artwork and um, yeah you can hang it into your craft room and or send it for a, uh, a gift for someone 
So I hope you enjoyed that um, tutorial today and I hope you are inspired with it. And um, yeah, so you can have two options here, the two colors, different, slightly different colors. Um, yeah, and uh, this one has a red, she has a red hair, this one has a blue one. Yeah, it's almost the same. But yeah, so... So everyone, thank you for watching and thank you for leaving a comment. I, I appreciate it very, very much. So that's it. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you again next time. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye for now.